so the poem that I wrote was specifically for this event and it's called God Bless the Child. We, are, we have gathered here today to bear witness to God's grace. Mercy has shown us favor for a few. There is laughter and joy in the midst of this room. Let it pour out through these open doors and silence the sorrow wailing up from these solemn streets because no, not one of us is taking our last exhale upon them. We find relief from our turmoil within these walls. Today, heaven has blessed us with this beauty. We have come to see, and here we are, assembled together to sing praises, not songs. We are not present to mourn another sad ending. Our lamenting can be saved for later days that are sure to come. Today, we are here to commemorate a portion of a black man's life and the fact that his mother can smile with her whole heart because it is not heavy, because he is alive to receive his celebration. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Let him soak it in. Inhale all the air in the room until his lungs are too full to ever have to fight for more. Let us send him off with enough love and enough oxygen to save for the tomorrows when someone else may try to decide he is not worthy of either. You can breathe today, brother. Today is a day made for memories that have become far, too far, and in between. Let us capture this happiness like fireflies in mason jars on summer nights of distant past. Preserve it for all the seconds when we forget that there was a time that we gathered just to feel good, not grieve. In this moment, we are blessed beyond measure. Make the most of honoring him because right here is a treasure a reminder that we do not fight in vain. Every time a black son triumphs over the adversity meant to steal his spirit, a black mother that has lost her own seed gains her wings so that her soul is a little freer, her burdens a little lighter. Every melanated man that finds even the smallest victory hasn't succeeded just for himself. He holds his nation on his shoulders. So you can stand tall today, brother because today the lights shine bright on you and they are not rotating red and blues. Let our applause drown out the trauma from the siren song that plays all too often in our communities that carries in, that carries in all too often those who are paid to pick up our lifeless bodies or those who are authorized to drop them. Today, there's no fear of persecution or asphyxiation. You are here and we are here for you because you have rewarded us with the gift of hope in a cold and foreign society. A consequence of a suffering people is that eventually they gain the strength to withstand and persevere and God bless the black child that survives. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Wow.